I don't question how the world works When it's working out for me I'm in love with someone beautiful So wonderful you won't believe Don't ask me when our worlds collided Roll the dice and see I know what I believe I love just because You're mine just because I feel just because It's real just because It hurts just because It works just because When I hear anybody ask me why it does I say just because I found my love beside a southern girl She found a love beside of me On summer days she wears a sundress Never looking better I'm hitting way out of my league When I fell for her Oh, I tried to hide it Couldn't fight it Now I know that she believes Oh, I love just because You're mine just because I feel just because It's real just because It hurts just because It works just because When I hear anybody ask me why it does I say just because Because she loves, because she smiles Sense of humor running wild Because she makes me dream about When she's walking down the aisle Because she hurts, because she cries Because she needs me in the night So if you ask me why I say just because She's mine just because I feel just because It's real just because It hurts just because It works just because And when I hear anybody ask me why it does I say just because You're mine just because I feel just because It's real just because It hurts just because It works just because When I hear anybody ask me why it does I say just because I say just because
decided we could fly and we could find our dreams and then we survived it was collide but it's never as it seems we decided we could fly and we could find our dreams and then we survived it was collide but it's never as it seems dream can fly You sheltered me from harm You kept me warm Kept me warm You gave my life to me Set me free Set me free The finest years I ever knew Where all the years I had with you I would give it takes them away and they don't hear the words you long to say I would give it Just to touch you once again
many soon departed And you know he never showed his face again You know your love Keep on lifting me
Before we say goodnight Look down and call for time Before we walk away Just think I wish that I could say This heart will never break Before we start again Let's think We fell too much to fall Don't bow when the curtain calls Before we lose it all Before we lose it all If it's not hard enough If it don't hurt enough If it's not hard to fight If it don't shake It's never how you plan And when you've lost all hope That's when you'll understand Maybe it's my mistake I say too much too late Till we communicate again Don't hide when the rain falls If it's easy then it can't be love Before we lose it all Before we lose it all
Basically, um, we recorded a lot of songs for a second album, a lot of original material written by ourselves, and a few covers as well, because we never ruled out covers. They've always been very good to us, you know. Fair enough, the uh, critics and the cynics slate you if you like release covers and stuff, but uh, we don't worry about them. It's our fans that listen to our music and that we really care about. So um, the fans never slate you for releasing covers. In fact, some of their favourite songs of Boys on are covers the likes of Father and Son and Love Me For A Reason. So um, for that reason, we don't have any problems releasing covers. Words was a song by the Bee Gees, who we had pleasure of meeting last um, a year Blackpool. ago today, or the other day in Blackpool, they were putting the lights on in Blackpool, and That's we met up with them, and they're really nice guys. And we explained to them that we used to open our show. We had a Bee Gees number called "Deep As You Love." We, fat, we had a fast track of it about three years ago, and uh, they were really like flattered by that, you know. And we thought if we we're going to do a cover. They, those guys would really appreciate us covering one of their songs. We really liked one of their songs. So we, we recorded words and it turned out a lot better than we expected. We didn't expect it to be a single, we just another album track. But the way it turned out was we were really, really happy with it and we decided that uh, we, we'd go with words, you know. There's there's a couple of good originals on the album that we're going to say for maybe second and third singles, but uh, words is going to be the first one. So. I'm not nervous about it at all. Um, excited about it um, because it's. Uh, it's a more kind of mature album than the last one. Uh, it's a development of the band, really, you know. So I'm excited to see the response from people, but I, I've no fear that it, you know it, it wouldn't be a success. I, I think it'll be just as successful, if not more successful, than the last album. Um, it put a lot of hard work into it, and I think people will be very interested. And it's as I said, it's 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 a bit more mature, so it wouldn't in any way eliminate our younger audience, but just capture the imagination of an older audience, also, you know. On our first album, um, we wrote a lot of the songs on that as well. We wrote nine songs on our first album. People don't recognise that. Um, then, I mean, being with producers, we got a choice to work with producers, and we picked Ray Hedges and um, he's been good for us, he's been good to work with. On the second album, on this album, we've had a lot more input in everything, in videos, in the video, in um, our stage performance, a tour, and um, our album, and our music. So it's been easier this time, and it's just gonna get easier again. I mean, we're very excited, and we're pretty optimistic about the release of it, you know, we're really looking forward to the release of it, which should be soon. You know, we've all grown up, it's been a year since our last album. We've had more experiences. Um, and what you write about a lot of the time when you write songs is about experiences. And because we've grown older, and uh, you know, um, we can learn more mature words, if you know what I mean, you know? And that's basically what comes down into songwriting as well, because a lot of songs have to do with memories. So basically, they might not mean an awful lot to you, the memory, but it's a memory that's there in your mind, and that's what a lot, a lot of songs have to do with. Many times I have closed the show Many times I have watched the crowd go, but in time, my father said, all these lessons learned. Many times I would paint this town, so many ways I would lose this crown, but in time, my mother said, all these lessons learned. Many times I have stormed the 
lived the best night of her life. And 
there's no one there Wherever you are, I'll find you Stream and tears When your eyes are all clear Wherever you are, I'll find you Center of gravity What do we do? We've done loads of interviews, we've done some... Uh, we actually went on a trip around the harbour, um, Sydney Harbour, Lovely. doing a lot of interviews on that. Um, Brilliant, it was excellent. What else we doing? We did a lot of TVs, some smash TVs. hits, Australian smash hits, Australian live TV hits. We've had a good hit. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. We were in Sydney, Sydney and Melbourne, Melbourne wasn't it? Yeah, I have a lot of friends sure. living in Australia and they say that they play Boys on to Death on all the radio stations and everything. That it's like really, like airplay is great for us over there. That was really, that we, we didn't have final selection in the band at that stage. We did a TV just saying that these are part of the new band and we're going to come back to you when we have our first single and, and we're all sorted out and know what's singing and what records we're doing and whatever and we'll come back to you yep. and perform the new single. And we did that and we came back, it was, it was four or five weeks later and it was us five and uh, we did our first single which was a domestic record in, in Ireland alone called Working My Way Back To You which was a cover version of the Detroit Spinners. Went in at number three in Ireland and uh, we didn't release it anywhere else. Uh, it was a good laugh. It's good fun, but that, that's, that happened to us, yeah, it was our first TV. Oh. We all had hopes and dreams, but never so quickly for the band, and not with a record like that one. We've only just begun, there's a lot of things we left for us to achieve, everything. I mean, when we first started, I remember saying to Mick, we were travelling all over Ireland, it means nothing to anybody anywhere else, just doing little nightclub gigs and stuff like that. Travelling for four hours, four and a half hours in a little transit van, really uncomfortable. We used to bring our sleeping bags and try and sleep in the floor of the transit on the way home, we'd be so tired. I said to Mick one night, I said, geez, we felt, I felt that we were doing it for years, you know, and I said, geez, we think we'd ever make it, you know. And at this stage, we hadn't even got, I don't think we had a single out in Ireland. And uh, he said, yeah, he said, I definitely do, you know, I think we're going to do really well. One year later, played Wembley. I, when I was growing up with it, like, what was like an older brother, you know, we my ma's younger brother, but he was 17 years younger than my ma. My ma was the youngest then, an unexpected child. Like, my ma reared him, like, the older brother. And he got into a bit of trouble and I had to go on a run and he went to the run to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's living in South Africa now, I think it's Zambia or Swaziland, but he has never come home or doesn't write that much of him. When we write back our letters, I always get sent back on out, so he hasn't been getting our letters and stuff. And I was very close to him growing up and I'd like to meet him. Um, movie. I love Walt Disney movies. Um, All time favourite. Hmm. Flint Beauty. Can I Um. <laughs> 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 
I'm not sure. I can't find it. E.T. was a great one. E.T. is one of my all time favourites. I was said a rosary beat. Don't I have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> roll ups. <laughs> We need needles. No, I, mean, I have a set of ro- rosary beads. Wrong. Rosary beads. Well, see, that's the thing that um, about our show is that we do have, like, we'll have a big band with us and we'll have a lot of produ- stage production and stuff like that to make it really exciting. But because we have songs that are both fast and slow, there are, are ones that, you know, you'll just walk out there and with no accompaniment and just sit there and sing the song. So we, we do it both ways, like, you know. Yeah, what he does is he just be singing to the fans. And hold, not acting, actually just performing for them. And he forgets. And he just sometimes loses the plot. That's Mikey, <laughs> alright. He just gets carried away and singing to people. Thanks very much. <laughs> Don't know whether that's good or bad. But anyway, um, we spend a lot of time with our fans. I mean, if there's fans outside the hotel, we'll, we'll spend some time and go out and talk to them and sign autographs and take pictures. I mean, the concerts, anyone can come to our concerts. We were more than happy to see any any age there. I mean, our music doesn't only go out to young people, it goes out to anyone that listens to it and, and thinks it's good music and enjoys it. And if if a 60, 70 year old woman wants to come to our show and enjoys it, th- that's great. Or else, like, if a five year old kid, even younger, you know, mm. comes and they, once they enjoy it, that once the smile's on the face, that, that makes us happy, you know. Mm. That's important. Yeah. I mean, basically, um, we want people who we like, you know what I mean? We like, uh, <laughs> we like playing who we like, you know what I mean? We don't want someone to come on a tour and like, oh no, we don't like them, but then it's bad vibes. We like people to come and, we, you know, we like to help out other artists as far as, you know, we didn't, we know we didn't have it easy. And if we can help out some friends in the business, fine, we'll help them out, be it, you know, give them a slot on, on our tour because we know we've sold out arenas. So basically, if they're playing to arenas, uh, you know, you know, if they're playing people, that's all sold out. I mean, it's obviously going to be good for them. So you know, like we helped them along, you know, along the way, and that's cool. Because please, please God, someday, you know, if we're on our way down, you know, that might not happen. Please God, you know, but uh, the people who we help on the way up, you know, will help us if we're on the way down. You know what I mean? So some of them are really, like, really nice, but some of them just can't take a joke. Yeah. With their sound. Some, sometimes. Like, one thing about boys on is that we like to. Um, Pranks. Near near the, uh, the last show or near the last show, we we play a few jokes, you know, and the support acts I mean, because. We dance out of step. <laughs> Madonna was great. She was great when she supported us. No, yeah. From here, seriously, we we like to play a joke, and you know, and sometimes, it, excuse me, they don't take it very well, you know. But that's grin and bear. <laughs> <laughs> On the first early shows, they did. They had a laugh with us. Yeah. Is that is that us? Us five. See, we got it. We got it. It's a boys' own tour. And these people are supporting us on our tour. We've got a whole crew, like of many on our crew. For, yeah, right? something like that. And then we've got local crew as well that get hired in every gig. So we've got all the crew that tra- travel around with us, and they get to know the support tax just like we do. And uh, at the last show, or whatever, the crew kind of come up with all the, the jokes to do on, while they're on stage, messing with their sound, putting their um, kamuki up backwards and upside down with their names written on it, you know, and <laughs> silly things like that. I mean, remember when Chocolate, this band called Chocolate World fought, um, came and told us when we were, like, they were first tour. They were very professional, they were. Huge, yeah. You, you put your man Kevin Hart, can't say step every now and again. Yeah. But, uh, they were called Chocolate World, so we got a pantomime cow to go on stage while they were performing. And he, the pantomime cow went on stage and and sh- little chocolate drops. <laughs> and, 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 and we put carrots and cucumbers in the microphone stands where Sean McGuire's back and singers were meant to be singing. But we put carrots and things instead of microphones and that was very really funny. And we made Peter Andre's muscles go up and down on our screens, but he didn't take it very well. We said he'd wear his body instead of his own body. And he didn't take it very well. And that's what we were saying about some people take a joke, some people don't. Well, it, might not have been, it might not have been Peter himself, it might have been just the people who were with him, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's the fun of life. You can't go through life being serious, you know what I mean? You have to have a laugh. And no, we always have a laugh on the road. We always enjoy touring. It's the most, it's the best, most fun for all of us. Anyway, I, getting up I, on stage. Um, enjoy enough for the fight. They go to bed every night, and I stay up and have a great time on my own. But it's always a good laugh getting up on stage and <laughs> oh just God. giving it back to the audience what they give to us, you know. And uh, hanging out with the other bands and just touring around the country. It's really a lot of fun. I know. You see, when we're on tour, because it's a total live show. The Row and Steve do a lot of the lead vocals, so they have to kind of go to bed early look after themselves because if they start drinking and stuff it does their throats in a little bit you know and they can't perform to the best of their ability like no. <laughs> we don't get upset by the media attention it's this we're in the public eye and this is the way we are you have to take the good with the bad and keep your head high and keep smiling 
Don't worry about it. No, we're not upset people. We're happy people. We enjoy where we are. We're doing doing what we want to do. We enjoy doing it. We're not tagged in with any of the other bands. We have our own personality, our own kind of image, our own independence from everybody else. Who do you think we're tagged in with? Do our yeah, thing, not I not with taking up where they're never in conflict with other groups. Never. We even take that around. We're never in competition or conflict with other groups. We're out having a good time, releasing music to our fans that want it, that want to buy it, that don't buy it, that don't have to. You know, we've had a lot. We've been lucky enough to have a lot of chart success, very good chart success, which has made us made our profile a little bit better. But we're still the same guys. We still like doing the same things. We might do it on bigger stages and in bigger places now than we used to, but we still look upon it as the same. We love performing. We love being in the group. We love this business, we love everything it comes with. We're not out to make enemies, we're out to make friends. You know, not conflict or competition, just out to have a good time. If somebody has a better single than us at the time, chart side than us, fair play to you, good luck. They, they, you know? they get it out of hard work, they're respected for it. Mm. Yeah, man. Definitely. We just we just have a good time, we release our music. Please, got a chart side, if it doesn't, well, we just yeah. keep coming back. You know what I mean? We do it out of the love of the business, not out of. You know, worshiping the charts or anything like that. You know, basically going home and seeing our family and friends. Yeah. They, they just yeah. remind you of who you are and what you are and where yeah. you come from. You know, and I don't, I don't, you don't forget that. I don't think because of your success, I don't think it's uh, any reason to change to change your personality, your personality, and the person you are, the way you think, the way you do things, everything. That's that's more valuable to me personally anyway than anything else. And being down to earth is more valuable to me than anything else. I think it goes the, thing, the, the only thing that will change is the frustrating part of people. Um, when 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 somebody puts you on a pedestal, everybody else tries to pull you back down, right? Yeah. So that's the most frustrating part. Even like take it for example, you were saying to Mick, like you know, you used to dance out time and stuff like that. You said you were at Wembley, you're at another show, and you're at Albert Hall. Albert Hall would have been the the last, the very last, or the the first one you saw. You've seen two shows since then. You didn't come along and say, "Geez, I like what you done here, Mick, or I like what you done there." You went back to the really old one and said, "You're out of timing." And unfortunately, that's the way everybody thinks. They never remember the good things. They always remember the bad things and bring them back up and throw them in your face. It's like pulling you down off the pedestal. You know what I mean? And that's the frustrating part of this life. That's not personal. That's the way everybody. everything happens in yeah. this business. People always try. When you're on a pedestal, it's a be bit really, isn't it? They don't it? want to give you a compliment <laughs> because they think you're already on a pedestal. He could be very insecure. You know what I mean? Just because he's a pop insecure. star, it doesn't mean he's really secure. He could be very <laughs> insecure. Sorry, you know what I mean? And people won't give you a compliment because they think you're on a pedestal because everybody yeah. puts you there. You know what I mean? People might put you up there, but you might be still just down here like us ordinary guys, feet in the ground firmly. You know what I mean? Oh. But well, that's just the way it goes. I say, frustrating people trying to pull you down off the pedestal that they put you up on in the first place. My love, I didn't know a smile could ever mean this much. Stranded by the softest touch You're too beautiful Oh my love I'm sure Every time I see your face It takes me to a simple place Where I can be me again
dreamt you here with me You made me so
You kept on stepping, never turning your head Oh girl, I'm doing fine now Without you, baby I'm doing fine now Without you, I'm doing fine.